What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be discussing range orders, but more specifically how to set up a range order using Zero Pro hotkeys. All right, so looking at my position here, I currently have an open position of NIO, long 200 shares at an average price of 8 spot 73. So the first thing that I want to do is open up my hotkeys, okay? So that's going to be at the top section here under the quick access group bar. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're underneath the hotkey buttons tab, not the hotkey deck tab. And then we just wanna go on ahead and select the setup or send order action. All right, now that we have this set, so we're going to create a sell range order that'll have two legs. One will be to take profit, that'll be our limit order, and the other will be a stop market order to try and prevent further losses. So the first thing that I wanna do is give this a keyboard shortcut. I'm just gonna go with Control R here. And if we wanted to, we could change the name. I'm just gonna leave the name as this. We're gonna hit side, and then we're gonna go to sell. Under quantity type, we're just gonna do the whole position. But we can choose any of these other selections here. For the quantity or the amount of my position that we're going to sell off is going to be 100%, so the entire position. Now, of course, obviously more important here is the order type, so we're going to range order. Now, as you can see, we had a few selections that just populated and appeared on the screen, and that is the low price source, low price offset, high price source, and the high price offset, right? Now, before we get into that, let's go on ahead and make some more changes to our hotkeys. So in a route, we're just gonna change that to sim. It says sim for me because I'm running this from a simulated account or a demo account, if you will. If you're running this from a live account, you might see something that says smart. Under time and force, we're just gonna change that to a day order. And the reason why we're using a day order is because this includes a stop market leg, right? So the stop market legs only execute during regular market hours. It does not execute on Trade Zero's platform outside of regular market hours. All right, so now let's go on ahead and change our low price source and high price source. So for low price, we're just going to change that over to bid. But we see that we have a few other selections here, such as low price, high price, average price, so on and so forth. So we can do bid, and then I'm gonna change our high price over here to ask, all right? So on the low price offset, what we're gonna do is we're going to give this a negative spot 10 cents. So being 10 cents away from what the current bid is. And then on the asking side, we're going to do the same, but we're going to do this at a plus 20. So plus 20 cents away from where the current ask is. All right, cool. So now it looks like I have everything set up to liquidate my long position with a range order. Now, if I wanted to get a little bit extra fancy and save a little bit more time, what I could do is create a hot key button. So let's go on ahead and set that up. So in the description, what I'm going to do is name this range order. All right. Now that I gave it a description, we're going to name the caption here range. And then if we wanted to, we could go on ahead and change the button color here. We're just going to select the blue one there. Great. So now we can add this to our hot key grid, go over to our high key deck, bring that over to the right here, hit apply. And now we have that range order button placed on our level two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit range. And now we see that the order was applied. The reason that it was applied and not executed directly is because if we come back into our hotkeys, right, under this configuration here for the range order, we didn't select the auto send order. If you wanna execute the hotkey right away, just go on ahead and hit the auto send order and this will push the order out, all right? But we're just gonna keep it unselected for now. Okay, so coming back into our range order here, it's gonna hit that button there, all right? Give us our prices, now we're gonna hit sell. And now we see that we have our stop market and our limit order to sell shares of NIO. All right, cool, so we utilize the range button here, right? We can go on ahead and cancel this, and now we're gonna execute with Control R, all right? Make sure we have our level two selected. Great, we see that it was applied. Now all we have to do is hit sell, and now we see those orders there pushed out, cool. The other cool thing is that now we also see our range range order here on our chart as well. So we can go on ahead and even adjust our range order prices from this area. So we could bring our take profit level down if we wanted to, hit yes, right? That'll adjust the price. We could bring our stop loss up a little bit closer, right? So there's so many different things that you can do when it comes to the range order. So we hope that this video was informative for you. Stay tuned for the next one.